So XRP is sitting at 52.87, as you can see right now. And uh, wow, I'm feeling echo. That is strange. So um, from here, I mean, the expectations are, of course, towards 57 cents. And uh, it is holding um, this zone, if you look at it. Once it rallied up, it is trying to hold. Uh, it looks like it's falling down, but that's okay. It's weekend, and weekend generally, we don't see much of bullishness because of the volume. What we see is uh, either sideways movement or a bit of dumping, but I'm still um, kind of bullish in this weekend, uh, just because of the fact that I think it needs to turn around. So maybe if it wants to go up, <laughs> this is the time. But um, that is generally not the case scenario uh, we see in weekends. In weekends, we generally see red. And then sometimes uh, Mondays are red too. And then Tuesdays are the ones that turn green. Um, but maybe this time they will act differently or maybe not. But all we care about is that as long as um, XRP is ranging in this zone, uh, we are bullish and it is way above 50 cents. So... Overall, it is in a very good spot, uh, considering that the kind of patterns it is making. It's not a clear cup and handle. Um, there's this pattern called cup and handle. This is not a clean one. Uh, you can't call it, but just for the sake of it, this is a cup and this is its handle. So this is generally considered to be a bullish case scenario, which means that um, as long as if it doesn't go below 50% of this height, it is a bullish case scenario, which means it will start rallying up. So let's see what happens to this pattern. And like I said, it's not a clean one because we have this thing here. And But still, some people might take it as a sign and they might go for it. And this is on a four hour, which means it's going to take multiple days <laughs> for this breakout. It's going to take time unless some bullish news comes out. And then the movement would be, let me tell you how much it can move. Yeah, the movement will be towards 57 cents. So pretty much everyone is playing in that direction. So keep that in mind and uh, take your trades accordingly.